Thank you, Father. Lord, we glorify your name. We magnify you. We exalt you. You're worthy of praise once again this morning. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy and love and kindness that never fails. They are new every day. Great is your faithfulness towards us. Once again, we are alive to honor you, to glorify you, to bless your name, to adore you in the beauty of your majesty and holiness. I thank you, Spirit of God, once again for the call to pray, to seek your heart, to seek your mind, to seek your desire, to seek your intention. May you be exalted. May you be glorified. May you be magnified. May your name, O oh God, once again be hallowed in the earth. May your counsel, O oh God, not be thwarted by the counsels of darkness. May your plans not be frustrated by the things that you have ordained and desire for your people, O oh God. I thank you once again, Lord, this morning as I present myself to you. I thank you, Lord, that I, as I lay on the altar this morning in the place of prayer, that once again your will will find expression, Lord, in my life and through my life. That there is nothing that will be able to stop or hinder that which you have ordained, O oh God, for your people this day. I thank you, Lord, that there is a lifting, yes, in your presence. I thank you, Lord, that there is a building up in your presence. I thank you, Lord, that there is, yes, Lord, a developing in your presence. Thank you for the infusion of the spirit of wisdom and life this morning. Thank you for your knowledge once again, Father, that we long for. We hear in the name of Jesus, your counsel. Thank you that your spirit, Lord, you Yes, oh God, is leading us to the place of your good pleasure this morning. I bless your holy name. Thank you, Father, for everyone that will be joining in the place of prayer this morning. Father, that indeed your heart, oh God, will yearn, will pulsate, will, will, will cry out, oh God, for the, for the things of your spirit. I thank you. Once again, that you'll be glorified, you'll be magnified, you will be exalted, oh God, even as we pray, as we call upon your name, in Jesus' name. Well, I want to once again welcome you. We were broadcasting early, earlier on. I don't know what went on, what went wrong. It just cut off. But well, I had to restart it again. Yes, that is what it takes. We have to continue. Amen. To pray, to seek the heart of God, to seek the mind of God, to do what we need to do in order to advance the intentions of God in the earth. I sense this morning that the Lord will have us pray. All right. We're supposed to be continuing our, you know, our, our, our teaching on the book of art, but I just sense that the Lord will have us pray, particularly in this uh, 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 period that we we, are, we have been ushered into this month. You know, moving towards next month is a time, Amen. That believers need to pray; they need to seek the heart of God, and our prayer, Amen, has to be focused on what the Father, Amen, has ordained for us as 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 a direction, Amen, to us His intention as we move further into the future. So this morning, I want us to pray, and our prayer is going to be focused, Amen, on just seeking the heart of God, seeking the mind of God, Amen, longing for His will and counsel to be established in us, Amen. We want to come to a point where prayer is no longer, you know, a, a just a sense of duty. That prayer becomes our life. It becomes our breath. Amen. That prayer becomes that which amen, we live for. We live on. It becomes the food that we eat. Becomes the, the water that we drink. Becomes the air that we breathe in. Amen. Becomes the clothes that we wear. Amen. That prayer defines our environment. Amen. Shapes amen, our pattern of thinking. That we dare not do anything without amen, hearing from him. Knowing his heart, his mind amen, and his intention. Now everything that we do amen, is born out out of hallelujah, that agenda that has been established in the place of prayer, that everything that we say, amen, is born out of, amen, the spirit of supplication and thanksgiving, amen, that our life becomes the very expression, amen, of the heart of God, of the heart of the Father. This is what I believe, amen, the Lord, amen, is calling us into, and we can only do that when we begin to understand the riches and the richness, amen, in the place of prayer and supplication and seeking the heart of God. I tell you, there is nothing, amen, that we can compare to this ministry. They say we will give ourselves, amen, to prayer and to the ministry of the word. We've been emphasizing on that, amen, for you know, for months now, amen. We will give ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Prayer is a ministry, so is the so is the ministry of the word of God. And this to go hand in hand, like I always say, you cannot separate the place of the word and the 
place of prayer. When we pray, amen, we get to we get to speak to the Father. When we study the word of God, amen, when we read the word of God, amen, when we meditate on the word of God, the Father speaks to us. This morning, we want the two, amen, to converge. There's a place of divine convergence and is within our spirit, man. And as we open our heart and allow the spirit of God to continually steer, steer us up, amen, towards the heart of the Father, amen, we will hear, we will have a better understanding. We will have a better inclination of the of the ways of God, of the will of God. Amen. The things of God becomes more clearer to us. Yes. You know, uh, of, of last month or two months ago, I did, you know, about four series of, of teaching on amen, how to how to how to how to how to train your spirit and how to strengthen your spirit, how to train your spirit and how to strengthen your, you know, your spirit. You see, and all of that can only become a reality, of course, in the place where we have a clearer and a better understanding, amen, of the importance, amen, of coming to God because that's what the prayer is. They that must come to God, Bible says, must believe that he is. We cannot engage the place of prayer without believing that the one that we are going to, amen, meet, the one we're going to talk to, amen, is there. Hallelujah. We have to have that assurance, amen. We have to have that understanding. We have to have that, you know, spiritual knowledge. We have to have that spiritual experience, amen. We have to see it, amen. The place of prayer is the place of faith. Faith sees and faith calls the things that be not as though they were. So this morning as we pray, as we seek the heart of God, as we seek the mind of God on, on, on our behalf, amen, on behalf of our family, our home, on behalf of, amen, our city, our nation, on behalf of this generation, I believe that we will better advance the things of God in the earth because when we begin to pray, hallelujah, we become people of power, hallelujah, we become people of might, amen. The Bible says be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, his, his might, that is a might, amen, there is a power, there is an energy, there is a strength that we have to continue connect to amen be strong in the lord and in the power of his might amen the power of god's might is that greed of energy that we want to connect to when we connect to heaven's greed hallelujah we release light we release amen ability to 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 produce hallelujah you know energy is not just about amen being able to shine light amen that's the i mean that's the least amen you you use energy for all kinds of you know production amen and if we are going to be amen kingdom producers if we're going to be kingdom proof producers if we're going to produce things if we're going to birth things if we're going to establish things if we're going to become a man you know a, a apostolic engineers if we're going to earlier craft things if we're going to tap into the spirit and bring ideas that can change society if we're going to bring people amen nations our homes family amen to the to the foot of the cross then we need to amen we need to war we need to advance in the place of prayer we need to come to the reality amen that there is an energy that 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 actually you know comes into our life that that infuses us in the place of prayer i believe that i believe that i believe amen that there's an exchange of weakness for divine strength in the place of prayer i believe hallelujah that there is that is there is a place of spiritual advancement and development in the place of prayer i believe amen that there is something that happens in our inner man in our spirit man amen that fine tunes how we understand the things of god that helps us to better understand the ways of god the will of god that when we pray we have a better insight amen of the revelation Hallelujah, that has been given to us. So, Father, we want to once again honor you. We thank you that you have called us once again to this mountain. Yes, when we pray, we come to a hill, we come to the mountain. The Bible says that early in the morning, you climb the, the hill, the mountain to go pray. We thank you once again, yes, Lord, that we have come to this hill, we have come to this, to this mountain top, to the place, yes, where we can supplicate, oh God. We have come with a heart of devotion. We have come, Lord, to lay down. We have come to surrender we have come to yield ourselves we have come to seek you seek your ways seek your mind we have come lord to yes intermingling with you we have come to rapport with you we have come lord to connect with you we have come lord to commune with you it's called com, 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 
communication yes father we have come to hear your heart we have come to learn of your ways we have come to yes speak to you and we have come lord to hear you speak to us yes as jesus was on the mountain your word declares that yes uh, 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 three prophets appear be be before him i thank you this morning uh, rather two prophets yes elijah and moses appear father we thank you this morning that lord as we come to the place of prayer we have come to the place where we can commune where we can interact with with the heavenly cloud yes father we have come to the place where we can hear the voice of them lord speaking to us of greater things uh, we have come lord to the place where we can see things the way you've ordained it we have come lord yes to connect with your with your heartbeat and so father before we even begin to pray we want to lay aside every superfluity of nothingness we want to cast oh god off every imagination oh god whatever it is oh god that is in us that we have brought that we don't even know that are there that are contrary to your ways that can hinder our prayer father we lay them down we wash this morning yes by the washing of the water that's why it's good to always read the word before we pray we come lord what by the washing of the water through the word we pray lord that you will purify us you prefer our mind purify our thought this morning we cast down the name of jesus lord ideas lofty ideas whatever it is contrary yes imagination you call them struggle we cast them down this morning we pull down the name of jesus imagination every loftiness everything contrary to your ways to your will we bring them down we proclaim and we declare this morning we are we are here to hear you we are here to listen we are here to do your bidding and your bidding alone in the name of jesus we say let every man be a liar but god be true this morning yes lord even as we approach the place of supplication uh, as we come to the place oh god of prayer and thanksgiving as we come to the place where uh, we become heaven he heaven becomes part and parcel of our life we've come to the place where our spirit man once again becomes alive fully alive yes lord uh, communing communicating uh, interacting with heavenly dimension we proclaim we declare that nothing of the earth oh god will ascend with us in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we proclaim that we diminish this morning we diminish oh god we declare this morning let your voice your mind your heart be amplified in us oh god may we be surrounded this morning by a great cloud of witnesses may we come into the nymphos of your spirit may we come into the dimension of your counsel may we come into the reality of your purposes this morning we lay aside distraction we lay aside distraction we lay aside this morning every weight and sin there are sins that can hinder our prayer there are sins that can hinder our prayer because sins attacks our thought uh, and we are, we can only be effective in prayer when our thought is aligned and so father we declare the the, the thoughts thought the thought realm oh god we bring them down he said, let this mind be in you. We come to pray with the mind of Christ. And therefore we declare whatever mind, oh God, yes, that we have imbibed that is not aligned to the mind of Christ. We cast them down. Lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, the pride of life, whatever you represent, whatever these three represent in your life, in my life, uh, in our homes, uh, in our family, in our ministry, uh, in our career, we cast them off in Jesus' name. We declare lust of the eye, pride of life, the deceitfulness of riches. Uh, you have no place in our life we surrender we yield ourselves uh, to the intentions of the father this morning uh, we proclaim that christ be magnified in us in us in us in us the bible says it is the lord that is at work in us but to will uh, and to do of his good pleasure i uh, thank you father this morning uh, that yes indeed your counsel is being fulfilled in us your will your will your purposes oh god is being manifest in us this morning we declare none of us but all of you it's not unto us but unto you we declare the glory is not unto us but unto you. We diminish, oh God. Yes, Father. Secret thoughts, oh God. Secret ambition in the name of Jesus. Things that we know on the inside that nobody knows about. Ideas that we know that are contrary to your ways, to your will. Father, we cast them down. In the name of Jesus, we trample upon, yes, everything that defines serpent. We trample upon that which de defines scorpions. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, uh, we have come this morning because indeed uh, you have invited us uh, and you've asked us to be washed uh, and therefore we receive this morning the ministry of the word uh, the ministry of cleansing the ministry of the river the ministry of the streamer uh, yes father in the name of Jesus uh, we want to become like that smooth stone uh, 
picked, oh God, yes, Lord, uh, from the from the belly of the stream uh, by David. Uh, Lord, we want to be vessel ready meat for your use. Uh, and therefore, we proclaim and we declare this morning uh, that you, Christ, uh, be exalted in our life. Uh, be magnified this morning. Be magnified this morning. Be magnified in our thought. Uh, be magnified in our thinking. Uh, be magnified in our desire. Let your desire become our desire. Let your way become our way. Let your truth become our truth. Let your counsel become our counsel. Let the things that you love become the thing that we love. In the name of Jesus, I pray this morning, grant us to go the desire for your ways. Grant us the desire for your counsel. Grant us the desire for your wisdom. Grant us the desire for your good pleasure. May your good pleasure become our pleasure. May your heartbeat becomes our heartbeat. May our, may our life this morning yield to the things uh, that pleases you father may our desire yield oh god to the things that honor you in the name of jesus uh, we do away with the works of the flesh uh, we do away with the works of the flesh uh, we do away with the ways of the world uh, we proclaim we yield to the intelligent way of the spirit we yield to the intelligent way of the spirit we yield to the intelligent way of the spirit we yield to your heart we yield to your ways we yield to your mind we yield to your truth we yield to your word your word is the most intelligent material that we can ever come in contact with your word is the most intelligent thing that we can ever have we receive this morning the desire to desire your word we receive this morning the longing the passion for your ways for your heartbeat oh god in the name of jesus may our heart this morning beat towards your heart oh god may our heart long for yes lord your heart make our life your home this morning make us your dwelling place we don't just want to live by the idea of what the scriptures say. We want to walk in the reality. We want to experience. I want to experience uh, everything your word says. I want my life truly to become uh, your, your living epistle, your living altar. I want my life to become indeed uh, a living epistle known and read. I want me and men to read me uh, as they read your word. Uh, that if there be a time where we are not giving access to the scripture. May my life become what men read. May my life become what men read. May my life become what people can read. In the name of Jesus, may we be like the Daniels of our time. May we be like the Joseph of our time. May we be like the Ruth, the Esther, the Deborah, the Ezekiel, oh God, of our time. Yes, Lord, we come, oh God, into the incarnation of these people, oh God. We want to manifest all these dimensions of ministry. Ruth is a ministry. Abigail is a ministry. Deborah, Mary is a ministry. Joseph is a ministry. Lord Daniel is a ministry. Elisha, Elijah are all ministries, oh God, that we want to come into. Moses is a ministry who can see into, yes, the future past and bring the reality of Genesis, where we can understand the principles of gen gen genetic molecules. Help us, Spirit of God, to understand the DNA of our life and the things of your spirit. May we, oh God, tap into the things that Moses tapped into that is able to write, oh God, that is able to pen down things that human imagination cannot even comprehend. He was able to put down in the beginning, God said, Spirit of the Lord, bring me to the corridor of Moses. I want to walk in the path that this great man walked. I want to walk, oh God. I want to walk. I want to walk in the path, oh God, that Moses walked. I want to see the things he saw in the name of Jesus. Uh, take me beyond the scripture. Bring me to experience uh, the new ways, the new life, oh God. I pray in the name of Jesus. Uh, guide me through the days of Enos uh, where men, holy men began to call upon the, upon the name of the Lord. Uh, bring me to the days, oh God, of Enoch uh, in the name of Jesus uh, where men can walk with you and then Lord they are not, you said, uh, because they were found to be righteous. Uh, I thank you, Spirit of God. Bring me to the day of Noah where we can build, oh God, 
power yes that which aligns uh, in the days of contradiction in the name of Jesus I pray bring me to the day uh, of Noah where I can construct uh, what man uh, are still struggling to die suffer spirit of God the technology is in you uh, yes Lord uh, thank you Lord this morning uh, that you are opening uh, the channels the ways of your spirit unto us uh, as we pray because indeed when we pray our minds are open uh, to the mind of Christ when we pray our thoughts are open to the thought of Christ when we pray our desire becomes indeed uh, one with you in the name of Jesus I thank you this morning that we will pray we will call upon the name of the Lord uh, we will call upon the name of the Lord uh, in the days where darkness is covering the earth uh, and gross darkness the people in the days what iniquity becomes the order of the day in the days where iniquity becomes the order of the day in the day where iniquity becomes the order of the day bring us to the place of God where we can stand tall where we can stand bold indeed is a day of warfare but it's a day of victory it's a day of warfare but it's a day of the champions thank you Lord that we have received of the heart of David we have received of the mind of Joshua we have received this day of the technology of Moses yes Lord in the day of the battle against the Amalekite our hands are lifted high raised high via the ministry of Aaron and Hall thank you father this morning that we cannot be defeated no because you are in us he that is in us is greater than he that is in the world I thank you my father that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ever imagine or think thank you Lord that our imagination cannot even begin to comprehend our imagination is not powerful enough is not strong enough to comprehend to capture the things that you have set your God the things that you have prepared and, and ready for those whose heart has stayed on you I thank you this morning Lord yesterday is gone is a brand new day is a brand new day so I present to you a brand new vessel called Isaiah Phillips Akintala I present to you a brand new template that you can walk on may this life become the model of that which you desire to build you said to Moses build the tabernacle according to the pattern I showed you on the mountain Lord we have come and we are still coming to your hill we are coming to your mountain the place of representation we have come here we are coming we have come and we are coming to the place of divine representation we have come Lord we are still coming to the place oh God of divine representation may I represent a priesthood in the earth may I represent as my brethren oh God watching listening praying with me represent a priesthood because the representation of our priesthood is based on our location some are representing your priesthood in Cape Town some are representing your priesthood in Eastern Cape some are representing your priesthood oh God in Johannesburg County some are representing yes your priesthood oh God yes Lord Katarabo in Free State in Nest Spring oh God outside South Africa in Namibia some are representing your priesthood oh God in Zimbabwe Kando Brano in Malawi Mangaro Boyanda in Angola in the name of Jesus Mandele Bakayando in Nigeria somewhere in Ghana Rabba Sindarabo in Libya Mangarabo in Mongolia in China they are they are pain men and women representing the priesthood of the Lord in America in Europe this morning wherever we converge from Father Lord I pray that I represent a clan I represent as a 12th tribe Mandele Bo represent the holy nation of God I declare Mandele Bo that we represent a priesthood in the earth of God we show forth we proclaim and we declare the counsels of God over the realm we regulate the realm we regulate the atmosphere we proclaim and we declare the day of the Lord is upon us his kingdom come may your kingdom come into this place because you have found a conduit you have found oh God a gateway you have found a portal may we oh God become a portal of the expressions of the things of your spirit into our nation into our city in the name of Jesus I proclaim may our life become oh God that which you walk through that which you walk through that which you use uh, that which you, he said prepare me away prepare me away may our life become the highway of your spirit uh, yes uh, it was John who says I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness prepare he the way of the Lord uh, make straight his path uh, may the path of the Lord uh, be straight even upon this upon this platform uh, may we proclaim and declare that through uh, YouTube we proclaim and we declare the way of the Lord uh, 
the counsels of God, the will of God, the intentions of God. Nothing can stop. No, no one will stop. No one will hinder. In the name of Jesus, the things that the Lord has ordained. It, this is the day of the Lord. This is the day of his intention. It's the day of his counsel. Lord, we do not, we do not react by the things we see in the natural. Our dimension, our position in the spirit is to see things via the spirit and to move and speak via the spirit so that the things of the spirit can compel natural things to realign. We thank you, Lord, that creation is waiting for us. <clears throat> creation is waiting for us. Creation is waiting for us. We position ourselves as sons in the spirit realm. We position ourselves as sons in the spirit realm and we begin to align. We begin to align things. We begin to decree things that our word becomes the establishment uh, of the execution yeah, of the intentions of the Father for each region of the earth. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we honor your name this morning. We give you glory. We give you praise. For, we praise your holy name, Father. Thank you for the things that your spirit is birthing and establishing right now. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Friends, thank you so much, everyone, for joining this morning again. The devil is a lie. He thought he could stop or hinder. Amen. Our prayer session, we began early. The, the broadcast cut off. Well, I said we're going to start again, so we started again. And the direction of the prayer, amen, has changed a bit. But I want us to go back to, you know, our... Uh, uh, what I sense initially, the Spirit of the Lord, you know, will have us, you know, look into as we pray. Hallelujah. Excuse me. Hallelujah, friends. In Psalm, 40, Psalm 42, verse 1. Hallelujah. This is, a, this is the song of the sons of Korah. You know them. The song of the sons of Korah. In, in verse 2, it says, My soul thirsts for God. There has to be a crowd, there has to be a people, a generation <laughs> whose soul is thirsting. The soul means every aspect of your faculty. Every aspect of your faculty, your mind, your imagination, amen, your sense of will, you know, desire, amen. Whatever, whatever part represents, amen, the faculty of your life, where you make decision, amen. The faculties where you are able to define, amen, what you prefer from what you don't prefer, amen. The food you love and the ones you don't love. You know what I'm talking about, how you like to look, amen. Uh, that, that, that dimension that defines your persona, you know. All of those dimensions, they all represent, they all capture in the in the word so my soul my soul my soul my soul my soul amen that even while you're watching tv amen your soul is still pulsating after god Hallelujah. while you were you're with your friend on the phone something about your soul is crying out for god amen when we get to this point something begins to happen in our life amen that influence that impacts and change reform transform the earth Remember that whatever God is going to do, he's going to do, amen, because he's found a one, he's found a heart, he's found a people. Hallelujah. My soul thirsts for God. This is what I believe the Lord laid in my heart this morning while I was praying. Of course, it was through my own personal prayer devotion that birthed this prayer that I'm doing online right now because I feel a generation, amen, must not be scared to pray. A generation must have a desire, a burden, a passion, hallelujah, to want to, amen, be at home with God. You want to be at home with your father, amen. Yes, we all have a home, isn't it? Many people this morning are watching me from, you know, from their home. And even, even if you're not in your home, you're, at least you're in a place where, you know, you, 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 you are covered to a certain degree. You know, you know, habitation is, is such an important thing to life. Habitation where we dwell. Amen. We, we find security. We find safety. We find rest. We find boldness, confidence. We're able to carry out. Most business, amen, are born out of a home. Hardly do you find a business born out of an office. There's something about our space, hallelujah, that gives birth. There's something about where we dwell, amen. <clears throat> That's why we need to be very, very careful, amen, about the environment that we find ourselves. We have to create an environment that is conducive for, for ourselves in order to be productive. If you find yourself not being productive, look at your environment. Look at the people. Look at the people around you, amen. Look at the space that you live in because your space defines you. I'm talking about habitation this morning. Hallelujah. Or rather the father is talking about habitation. My soul longs for God. God is our habitation. He's our final dwelling place. Amen. It's, 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 where, we, it's where we are going. It's where we define to be home. Amen. 
Heaven is good because God is there. Just to have a street of gold and everything looking beautiful, amen, is not enough. And heaven without God, hallelujah, is hell. Well, let me repeat what I've just said. And heaven without God is hell. It's not the, it's not the physical beauty, hallelujah. It's not the material. It's not those things that we see described in the book of Revelation that defines heaven to us. Heaven is because Christ is there. His presence is there. I love a shianda. There's something about the presence of the Father. That when you come into the presence of a Father, you feel light. You feel, you feel like your burdens are gone. You feel like your pain, amen. Your wants, your need is gone. <clears throat> Have you ever felt that way? At least for, for those of us who are beginning to understand what it means, Hallelujah, to be a father. And to be, to be, to be, you know, to be loved by a father. You know, when my, 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 my son, Zadok, start crying, and I, and I walk in there, you know, and I say, Daddy is here. He just see me, he just, he just looks at me, he, he stopped crying, he just looks at me. He knows my voice. <clears throat> he can't speak yet, but he already, he already knows me. He knows, he knows father from the rest of the people. Yes, when he wants the milk, he wants the milk. But when father comes, when father, when, when, when I say daddy is here, there's a different mood. There's a, there's a difference, there's a difference in his space. There's, there's something about him that just changes. It's like, I'm at home, I'm, I'm resting. And I'm the only one that can carry him and rock him in a way that when he cries, he stops crying. There's something about the presence of the Father that when you come into his presence, in that way, we've preached fatherhood, we've taught fatherhood, but we have not captured the essence of the presence of the Father. We have not. And that's why people hate, you know, the idea of, you know, of, of, of fatherhood. They, they hate it. Because you know, the reflection, what they have seen, and what we are still showing them, does not capture the heart. You see, fatherhood is heart. It's about heart. It's, it's tough. Sometimes it's hard. But it's so compassionate. You see, it's so compassionate. No matter what we do, uh, no matter where we are, a father will come there and save you. Even if he's going to give you a hiding. Even if he's going to correct you. But he's coming to save you. There's something about his presence that you just feel, oh, I'm at home. I'm secure. I'm safe. No matter where you are in the world, ha, huh, father speak to us. Are you seeing? L listen, friends, in the day where darkness is covering the earth, in the day where people are living in a sense of uncertainty, you know, in, in fear, and all kinds of issues are happening, death here. All I mean, I've seen so much, so m I've never seen so much death in my life than I've seen in the past, you know, couple of months. People all around you, neighbors dying, this dying, that one dying, all kinds of death. I tell you, if you don't have the revelation of a security in the Father, I'm telling you, your feet will start buckling. You start, you know, sh shaking. You, you almost give in. You almost give in to, amen, to that. It's like you're going to be the next person. No, we're secure in him. This is the day where we have to be secure in the revelation. Hallelujah. Listen, if we don't have the revelation of Christ, there's no way we can come into the revelation of the Father. Jesus Christ came to show us the Father. His life mirrors reflect hallelujah the father. I'm telling you something that we have to find home. We have to find habitation hallelujah. Prayer is what leads us. Prayer is what led hallelujah. That prodigal son, he came to himself. He came to his senses. I will return back home. Home is not just a location. Home is a place where father dwells. Oh, shut up, baba. You know, I can say this because I grew up without a father in my life. I can tell you that. I grew up not understanding the work, the ministry of, you know, of a biological father. By the time I began to know that my father, you know, is alive because they told me my father was dead. By the time I realized my father was alive, the few, the few, maybe few years, about two, three years that I, I can share with him, maybe three, three, four years there about, he was gone, he died. It was the most devastating thing in my life. But you see, the way I could express that devastation was I just went mute. I didn't cry. Nothing happened you know, at, you know, at his funeral. I was just there because I'm still getting to understand and still trying to process this man that is my father. And by the time it dawned on me that I've lost, I've lost my father. I think I cried for about two months. 
Every night, I just get up and cry. I just, you know, I'm sleeping. I just get up and start weeping. All kinds of things start coming to mind. You know, the few things that I was able to speak to him about that, I mean, those are things that I cherish. All of the things happening across the nation today is because people do not have an habitation in the Father. And I'm not just talking about this idea that we have, oh, a fatherless generation and all of those, you know, we, we, like, to, we like to chip in and we like to, you know, uh, you see, what we don't understand, we don't understand it. Let's stop pretending that we understand it. Nobody understands, earlier the heart of a father until you have experienced what it means to lose a father. A lot of us have taken disadvantage, excuse me, a lot of us have, you know, uh, what's the word now? We, we have not learned to take advantage of, of, of fatherhood because the people who, who represent father to us have misrepresented earlier the ministry of the father. I, are you seeing that I'm not the one speaking now because I'm, I'm showing us something. My soul thirsts for God. That's just what we're trying to connect to. And the father is speaking to us. You see, that's what happened in the place of prayer. The father talks back to us. He talks back to me. He talks back to me. He says, son, I'm talking. I know you're talking, but let me talk now. <laughs> you're right. And I, and I, and I you know, try to record the things he's saying to me. This is how I get to receive the things that, you know, that I offer, that I bring. There's no magic somewhere. It's all about relationship. And relationship takes time. Relationship demands investment. Relationship means you have to go out of your way. It means you have to, you know, discard certain things and certain people. It's about priority. My soul thirsts for you. If you're going to change the world, if you're going to change community, if you're going to change society, if you're going to change your environment, ah, your heart must return back to the Father. My heart must return because that is where the technology is. That is where the, the, the intelligence, that is where the solution to transform all those things that we are pumping money to and we brought nothing. Alas, we have come to the day of the birth and we have brought forth wind. I'm tracking that scripture. I'm writing on it. All the things that we want to do. All these issues that we are so involved in. What have we produced? We have not brought redemption to the earth. That's what Isaiah the prophet said. Aren't you tired of, of human effort? We waste money, resource, relationship, capacity we waste why because we we have not touched we have not located where the answer is where the solution is friends galus koban de brano give us a heart to return to you help us to understand what the sons of korah understood yes my soul thirsts for God. They live in God. Not just any kind of God. They are to qualify it. Amen. The definite article here is the living. Is living God. That's the definite article. He is the living God. The living God. There's a definite article to this word. So it's not just any kind of God. It's the living, living God. It's not a dead God. This God is not stoic. It's not, it's not some God, you know, you know, somewhere yonder, you know, that you cannot relate to. It's not a God that is shaped by human mind, human hand. It defines intelligence. Some, sometimes we want to help God by the things we say. That's why I posted that word, what I posted this morning. Let me see if I can quickly tra track it on Facebook. I shared that word, amen, this morning. Uh, yes, let me, let me see if I can quickly, quickly, quickly track it. Hallelujah. Yes, the fulfillment of any heavenly vision is not a product of your knowledge, competence, strength, or ambition. The fulfillment, if, if you ever claim, listen, I'm not talking about unbelievers. Unbelievers always have their own way. They have their own, you know, way of doing things. They, 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 don't, they don't mind. They will go to the devil. Amen. They will get answered. They will get the man. They will. But you, you claim to be a follower of God. You claim to be a child of God. You claim to be one, amen, born of God. Listen, there is no other way, amen, to achieving for God. No other way. You have to come via the pattern, the principle, the standard that the Father has laid for us. 
This is what we are battling with today. We built so many things with our own idea, with our own ability, with our own, you know, you know, wisdom, with our own knowledge, with, with, with what we have produced from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And the Lord is bringing those things to an end. Amen. The fulfillment of any heavenly vision is not a product of your knowledge. Amen. Your competence, your strength, or ambition. No human wisdom or effort can birth or sustain what heaven, amen, gives as a gift. If it's a gift, you've got a good. You have to come. You, you, you must make your way to his presence. Then he gives it to you. It's not by might. It's not by power. There's no legalism here. No. You have to come. They must give it to you. Hallelujah. You must, you must want it. Amen. Nobody throws gifts around. No. You have to want it. You have to long for it. The Bible says when he ascended on high, he gave gift to men. Remember what I used to say? If the gift was given, amen, when Christ ascended. So it, it's going to take an ascended people. An ascended gift cannot be used, amen, by men who have not ascended. And it's because we do not understand, amen, that the ascended life is the higher life, amen. It's the realm where we exhibit the spirit of excellence, hallelujah. The highest form of science, amen, is in the spirit of Christ. Let me repeat what I've said. The highest form of science is in the spirit of Christ. Hallelujah. No human wisdom or effort can but or sustain what heaven gives as a gift for the advancement of his prophetic agenda, regardless of the field. Are you in the field of nanotechnology? You need to connect to Christ. Are you in the field, hallelujah, of, you know, of, of, of you know, uh, 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 the, the, the kind of science that people are carrying out today, all kinds of people, that, that is causing the jaws of men to drop? You need to connect to Christ. All matters begin in Christ. All substance, amen, are found in the one who says, let there be light. I'm not preaching this morning. I want us to pray, friends. But I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just introducing this dimension to you, friends. I'm just bringing us to a point and a place where we need to begin to understand the call of the Spirit, where prayer becomes our natural habitation. Na prayer becomes our natural position of dwelling. That we, we pray. You remember I used to talk about uh, uh, um, Nehemiah. Nehemiah was standing before the emperor, the king. Amen. And the king is saying, what do you want me to do, Nehemiah? The Bible says, and he prayed. Nehemiah did not go somewhere to pray earlier before the Lord answered him. Hallelujah. He prayed in the front before the king. What kind of prayer is that? You see, because Nehemiah has understood that prayer, amen, is not just about finding a closet. Ne prayer to Nehemiah, amen, is, is an open portal. Hallelujah. Before the Lord. It's an open communication. Hallelujah. Nehemiah prayed and he answered the king. We need people, amen, who, who, who are seeking to change society but understand that the power to change, to transform begins in the place of divine establishment in prayer where their heart, their soul, their mind, amen, is well built, is well secured. I will do nothing, I mean absolutely nothing except I hear God. And to hear God, you have to commune. To hear God, you have to know. To hear God, you have to pray. You have to seek his way. You have to seek his heart. Hallelujah. Listen, friends. Obedience is what the Father is looking for. It's not your muscle. It's not, it's not your competence. You can have all the money in this world. If the Lord has not approved, amen, your pattern, amen, he has, he has not approved it. We don't pray to get money to do things for God. We pray earlier to use us and whatever pattern or principle he, he has chosen. That is, amen, his wisdom in expression. So this idea that we put money first, amen, <laughs> is, a Bab is, a, is a Babylonian mindset. It's in Babylon that they think without money you can't do anything. You know, when we began to build this, you know, this my, my, my studio office, a lot of people thought it was impossible. Even people promised, oh, we're going to do, we're going to, uh, uh, God made sure that he shut them down. He shut, the, shut their mouths so that nobody takes the glory. If you don't believe in God, if you have never seen God move in the life of a man, look at me. I am a living witness, a living example. No man would take the glory. No man would take the glory. Of the things that God earlier is initiated. If God initiates something and you allow self, man, amen, human wisdom to get involved, God will remove his hand. You're your own. 
You see, when God removed his hand into, in, from the life of so many people and kings and, 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 and you know, nations, you see what they do. You see how they run here and there. When God removes his hand from Saul, you, you see what Saul did? He went to the witch. When God removes his hand from the nation of Israel, they start looking for help, amen, from, from their enemy. The, least, the last thing you want, amen, is for God to remove his hand from what he's called you to do. Because you have involved all kinds of things. Because you've involved all kinds of human. If it's God building his church, let him build it. Come on. I said, if it's the Lord building his work, then let him build it. Stop getting yourself involved. Stop having nightmares and sleepless nights. Amen. Just because things are not working out the way you expect. It's not going to work out the way you expect because you're not the one in charge. Hallelujah. My soul thirsts for the living God. When shall I come and appear in God's presence? Is a question he's asking. My soul is thirsty. I'm longing, I'm yearning, I'm seeking. As the deer pants, yearn, longs for the stream of water. So my soul thirsts for you. God, my heart. Give us a generation whose soul is thirsty, is crying, oh God. Is pulsating, is yearning, is, is, is running, oh God, running hard after you. Give us a generation of men and women, oh God. The only way we can turn things around in this season in time is when we enter into the mode, oh God. Into the arena, into that position, oh God, of prayer. Yes, Lord, prayer is our life, is our breath, is what we eat, is what we drink. Give us, oh God, the longing, the desire, oh God, to know that whatever we preach outside what has been birthed in the spirit of prayer is just but words. <laughs> it's just but words. Nice words. Words of smoke without fire. I would dare not depend on the strength of yesterday, Father. I dare not. I dare not. I dare not trust in the arm of flesh. I dare not, Father. I do not seek the approval of men. I do not seek the approval of men. I seek your way. I seek your ways. I seek your will. My soul thirsts for you. Open my eyes of understanding. Open my mind. Help me to see the treasure and the pleasure in serving you. Help me, Lord, to see the treasure and the pleasure of pursuing you. You, you, Christ, is what I want, is what I want. Because if I know you, Christ, you lead me to the Father. No one gets to the Father except through Christ. Lead me. Lead me. You're my savior. You're my savior. You died on the cross. You shed your blood that I might have an entrance. You say now the way. The way has been opened. The veil has been rent. Oh father. I come to you God. Help me to bring a generation. A man, man, women, oh God. Crying, seeking, oh God. People who have, who have come to the end of themselves. Who said, I am, I, am th I am tired of drinking from, yes, the waters of this world that cannot satisfy. I am tired of eating, yes, from that which will never bring fulfillment to me. I am tired. Bring us to that point where we become tired. Because until we are tired of the ways of man, of the wisdom of man, of the ways of this world, until we are tired of the wisdom of this world, until we are tired of eating, until we are tired of eating from the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, we will never have the desire to, to quest, to yearn, to thirst for the things of your spirit. So bring us to the end of ourselves. Bring us to the end of our own way. Bring us. Bring us. It was Daniel who said, O oh king, you don't need to kill the people. I know a God who gives dream and who can interpret. Nebuchadnezzar said, take me there. Go consult him. It was Joseph who said, Pharaoh, I know a God who can interpret. They said, Pharaoh said, I was told that you can interpret dream. He said, sir, it's not me. But there's a God that I know. <laughs> You've got to understand that in the days of these kings, there are gods. Just like in our day, there are gods. All kinds of gods. The man, hallelujah, daily worship. They pay homage to. 
the poor libation too. All kinds of gods. As there were gods in those days, so there are gods in our day rising up. And part of the gods of those days now are being given voice again. They are rising our day. But God is looking for a Daniel. He's looking for a Joseph. Have you noticed that these people, what is different about their life is not how qualified they are, but how connected to the heavenly order. It is how connected they are to the heavenly order, friends. When you are not connected to the heavenly life, to the heavenly order, you will find yourself also struggling and being confused and being surprised by the things that are pushing at dwellers. You will find yourself being buffeted, tossed here and there by every wind of doctrine, by every wind of political affairs, by every wind of God knows what. Yes. Ah. There is a place that we have rest, friends. My soul thirsts. Is your, th is your soul thirsty? And if your soul is thirsty, what is your soul thirsty for? What is your soul thirsty of? What's, what is your soul thirsty of? My soul thirsts for God. Yea, the living God. Leba haso. Kambra gozo Give us, Father, a thirsty heart for you, a thirsty soul for you. Let every aspect of our being cry out to you this morning. That we will live in a dimension of total obedience and response to the things of your heart, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, may we not see prayer as something we do and we live a place we go and we shift away from no give us oh god a continual grace to abide to live oh god in that point in that place lobo shampra katize bebe bebe yando maraba sombre gede bayando may we be able to say this morning awake awake oh zion clothe yourself with the strength that comes from the place from the altar from the presence of god in the name of Jesus, awaken us, O oh God, Mam to be clothed with the life that comes from your altar, with the life that comes from your presence, O oh God. Give us, in the name of Jesus, a heart that is committed, totally dependent on the ways of your spirit. In the name of Jesus, friends, spiritual things are intelligent things, particularly things that are biblically spiritual. I want to clarify that. Lebaba, things that comes from the heart of God, amen, are the highest form of intelligence. We pride ourselves in all kinds of knowledge, in all kinds of, you know, exposure, in all kinds of, you know, experience. It's time we begin to amen, pride ourselves in the things we hear and know in the spirit. If we can pick things in the spirit and we truly know that they are of God, we can execute them in the earth and we will see change. Prayer changes people. Prayer changes amen, our, our, our places. And prayer changes things. A few, few, few days ago, the Lord dropped that word in my spirit. Prayer changes people. It changes things. And it changes places. And we are changing things. We are changing things over this, over this nation. Over the continent. Amen. Over the world. We are changing people. We are changing things. We are changing places. Yes. They say behind them, amen, is a, is, is, a, is, is a desolate wilderness. Before them is like the garden of Eden. So wherever you put the soles of your feet, hallelujah, I have given you to possess. You possess a place, you transform it. Father, we thank you this morning. I thank you, Father, for the grace to steer the heart of your people and call them to pray. And call them to pray. Call them to the life of prayer. Call them to the place of intercession in the name of Jesus. That when we begin to pray, the Lord began to drop prayer points. You see, when you, when you enter into the true realm of prayer, it is God who defines the prayer point. It's not you. <laughs> All the prayer we pray with, with our own list. 
that's a list that comes from your own suke, from your own mind. When you truly begin to pray, heaven begins to drop prayer list into your, into your spirit. Yes, they say pray for this, pray for this, pray for that place. You see, that's why it is God who define and determine the time. Because if you put uh, five prayer points and he says each prayer point must take this amount of time, what, what do you do? Prayer is a ministry. It's a calling. <laughs> it's, it's, it's beyond just a devotion. Amen. It's what we've been assigned to do. Father, we thank you. I give you all glory this morning. I give you all praises. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Give us a heart to pray. Give us a heart of prayer. Give us a heart that is questing, thirsty, yearning, desiring. Yes, Lord, your presence. My soul thirsts for God, even the living God. When will I appear? When will I appear before his presence? When will I appear before his face? We want to appear before you, O oh God. We want to see your glory. We want to see your face. We want to see. We want to hear. We want to be filled. We want to enjoy you, O oh God. Teach us how to enjoy you. Teach us how to have pleasure in the things you, you delight in. Teach, teach, teach us, O oh God, how to enjoy righteousness. Teach us how to love righteousness. Teach us, O oh God, how to love righteousness and hate iniquity. Teach us. Teach us, O oh God, your ways. Guide us in your path. Lead us in righteousness. Grant us the, the treasure of joy. At your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. This is our desire, Father. I pray in the name of Jesus that our heart will cry out, O oh God, yes, for the experience of true righteousness, that the fruit of, the, of life, O oh God, that we have received because we fear your name becomes manifest in us. May our feet be planted this morning upon the solid rock, Christ. May we go on, O oh God, today, seeking you, honoring you, May we be able to see the end of man and their wisdom. Lord, we are just beginning for a thousand years. It's like a day before you, O oh God. Help us not to be tired, but to be renewed daily in the spirit of our mind. Help us not to depend on the achievement of yesterday. Help us not to depend on the victory of yesterday. Help us to daily die and be awakened afresh. Like a newborn baby desiring the things of your spirit, oh God, daily, Father. I pray in the name of Jesus this morning. Take us to the place where we daily encounter your things, oh God, with a fresh, prepared, ready heart, oh God. Deliver us, oh God, from familiar spirit. We don't want to be familiar with your ways, with your things. They say familiarity brings content. Father, help us, deliver us. From the spirit, I say, oh, well, I know it. I also know it. Ah, well, the Lord spoke that thing to me. Ah, well, I, no, help us. That even when we are listening to people, to listen with an attitude of, there must be something new I can pick from here. There must be something new I can, I can hear from this voice. Even when we've heard the thing over and over and again, help us to come with an attitude of, I want to learn again. So, Father, we thank you. We bless your name this morning. For your ways, your ways, the ways of your spirit, the ways of your kingdom. As we continue to advance in this season of warfare, oh God, help us to know what warfare is and means. Help us to understand your present definition of warfare. Help us to understand, yes, that our eyes, our eyes of understanding, yes, our vision needs to be recalibrated in order to understand what you mean and define. May we not look at warfare from the way we were thought 10 years ago, 20 years ago. May we see the current prophetic emphasis of your spirit, oh God. May we understand that we need to war a good war. Yes, based on the prophecies that have been given to us 
by the laying on of hands of the elders of the presbyteries. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus this morning that, Lord, things are happening within us. Yes, there's a quickening in our inner man, in our spirit man, that our spirit man is, 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 the, is, the, is the depth, is the reservoir of, yes, of the things, of the treasures of your kingdom. So, Father, I, I begin to pray that there's a steering in our inner man, in our spirit man, yes, that will allow us to know what to do regarding every complex situation around us. Help us, Father, pray in the name of Jesus that you that is at work in us we will allow you to perfect your work in the name of Jesus, that we will allow you to perfect your work in us, in us, oh God, that we will not be in a hurry to want to manifest what has not been complete in us, that we will not be in a hurry to want to showcase what you have not fully perfected. And so, Father, give us, oh God, the grace to rest, to wait, to be patient waiting for the Lord, even as he walks in us. Thank you, Lord, that you who will come will come. You will not delay. Your will, your counsel will be established, will be fulfilled in us. We thank you this morning for your desire, for your ways, for your counsel, for your plans and purposes, oh God, that will not fail. Yes, Lord, heaven and earth will pass away, but not a stroke of what you have spoken, declare over our life will go unfulfilled. Thank you that you watch over your word to come to pass, to be fulfilled. We we thank you, O oh God, that our life, each of us, are the expressions of the prophetic voice of God, are the expression of the desires of God, that we are word in manifestation. Help us to know this, O oh God, that what you have written of me today, O oh God, I will step into it and fulfill it. That what you have written, O oh God, of my children, of my, my family, O oh God, they will step into it in the name of Jesus. I, I declare this morning that there's a clearing of the pathway to move to fulfill in the name of Jesus your prophetic desire for our life in Jesus name. I thank you Father that what you have written regarding this ministry today will be fulfilled. Father I thank you. The people that you have brought oh God that you'll be bringing that you have desired or day. Yes Lord to connect with us today will connect oh God. The things that you want them to hear they will hear that we are yes are spoken words waiting for yes a fulfillment in the name of Jesus. May we continue. Yes the, Jesus said for it is written of me. He said for I have come, Lord, to fulfill, yes, to accomplish, yes, that which is spoken of me. I am, I have come in the volume of the books. Uh, help us to know that we are books, oh God. Yes, Father, being written and being, being, being read out in the name of Jesus. Uh, help us to know that we are words, we are epistle, being written and being spoken, being published. Uh, thank you, Father, for great are the company of them that publish these words. Uh, we bless your holy name this morning that your will, your plans, your purposes for our life right now are coming into fruition that there is nothing the enemy can stop oh God yes as they could not stop the prophecy regarding the birth of Jesus uh, no one could stop oh God yes ma'am that about the things that are written regarding us uh, we are prophecy in expression we are prophecy in fulfillment uh, we are prophecy in, in, in expression we are prophecy in fulfillment thank you that my son oh God uh, Zadok is a prophecy in fulfillment uh, my daughter Jemima she is a prophecy in fulfillment. My son Samuel is a prophecy in fulfillment. My wife in the name of Jesus, she's a prophecy in fulfillment. I am a prophecy in fulfillment. This ministry, the potter's gear, you're a prophecy in fulfillment. That all my spiritual children are prophecy in fulfillment. All our followers, all our disciples, all our leaders and co- and co-builders together are prophecy in fulfillment. I proclaim, I declare that this third day church will Will not will not miss rank. We will not miss rank. We will all fulfill your prophetic intention for our life in the name of Jesus. I declare, I proclaim right now that there is a going forth to the fulfillment. Yes, of that which heaven has ordained, as as written. Yeah, that that which is written about you, that which is proclaimed about you, you will fulfill. No person, no devil will, will truncate the intentions of God for your life. No no circumstance, either political in the name of Jesus or, or economical will hinder, will frustrate, will derail God's intention for your life. I declare this morning, this day you will go forth as it is written of you. You will fulfill in Jesus' name. Fulfill, enter into the realm of the fulfillment. Enter into the realm of the bringing forth in the name of Jesus. Arise this morning. I declare, arise. Awake, awake, O Zion. Clothe yourself this morning with strength. Put on, hallelujah, the garment of splendor. O Jerusalem, 
Jerusalem, the holy city, in the name of Jesus, I proclaim this morning, take your place, O sons of God, arise, break forth, in the name of Jesus, no hindrance, no hindrance, no hindrance, the word of the Lord has gone forth, you will search God, you will seek for him, your soul will long for God, your soul will thirst for God, as the deer pants for the living water, your soul, every faculty, every dimension of you is searching, is seeking, is longing for the true and living God. Rabba siende. Rabba baba. You are a living epistle known and read of men. I proclaim this morning, Kanda Rabashianda, you are a living epistle known and read of nations, known and read Karabayanda of communities of society in the name of Jesus. Manda Brikayata Labrono, receive this morning, Mando, all of the promises of God, all of the prophetic desire and design of God for your life. You are a house that has been built in accordance to divine order, in accordance to divine structure. I declare you are a house. You are God's house that is being built. Every house is built by a man. The man might have built you. Your family, your parents might have built you. But yes, hear the Lord, there is a second building right now. God is the builder of all things. I yield you. I surrender you. I submit you to the building project of heaven. I declare right now, everything that man have built in you that is not accordance to the will of God, we knock them down. We knock them off. I declare right now, let the ministry of the wise master builder, master builders begin to shape you begin to align you, begin to come to the place uh, of divine fulfillment, uh, begin to come to the place of divine expression in the name of Jesus. Uh, great, great grace upon your life. I release into your space, uh, those of you watching right now, I release into your space, uh, grace, uh, resource of grace, uh, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, counsel, the spirit of knowledge, uh, the spirit of the fear of God. I release into you right now the quest and the desire to long for the ways of God, the intelligence intelligence of God. Receive it in Jesus name uh, so you can fulfill, uh, so you can accomplish uh, that which has been written over your life for your life. There's no disease, no sickness, no infirmity, no famine, no peril, no sword uh, in the name of Jesus, no circumstance uh, that can frustrate God's prophetic intention for your life. I declare this day, man, de brano, you rise up and you go forth, man, de in the name of the Lord, uh, in the name of the Lord, uh, you will conquer, in the name of the Lord, uh, you will be victorious, in the name of the Lord, uh, you will advance, uh, in the name of the Lord, uh, that assignment God has committed into your hands uh, will prosper, in the name of the Lord, your home, your family is secure. No corona in the name of Jesus. No satanic devil crowned to destroy lives and homes will come near your dwelling place. I declare this day you are secure in Christ Jesus. You are protected in Christ Jesus. You are secure in Christ Jesus. The Lord provide all your needs according to his riches. Remember. It's always according to his riches, not, not according to your riches, not according to the riches of men, not according to the wisdom of men, not according to the proclamation of some government. Uh, the Lord supply whatever your needs are, your needs mentally, physically, spiritually, materially, in the name of Jesus, biologically. Yes, in the name of Jesus, uh, I declare them right now, receive provision. Arise, come up higher lift your hands uh, come to the place of victory lift your voice uh, come to the place of victory in the name of jesus break forth to the north to the south to the east uh, to the west uh, receive possession in jesus name advance mangalaboshiando break forth hallelujah thank you father thank you father all oh, glory to jesus lord we thank you for victory this morning we thank you for victory this morning. I honor you, O oh God, for the things that your spirit, O oh God, has unleashed. Thank you, Lord, that we will testify of the things that you have done. Even as we connect to you this morning, I praise your holy name. Oh, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, well, we've come to the end of this prayer. Remember that the prayer time can continue in your, in your own private you know a uh, time and guess what as you continue to pray the father will continue to speak to you he will continue to drop things in your into your spirit 
uh, please make sure that, amen, the things God says to you, of course, make sure that your spirit is aligned. God, amen, will see to those things, amen, to their fulfillment. So thank you, everyone, this morning for joining me to pray. God bless you. Have a blessed, fruitful day, amen. And wherever you are, maybe afternoon, God bless you. Have a wonderful afternoon. Or maybe you're just planning to go to bed. Keep up, hallelujah, in the spirit. May God continue to bless you. God bless you. Love you all. Bye-bye. Have yourself a blessed day. Bye.